What up? It's Mr. Six Feet Eight back at you with another video. Hey, hey. Just wanted to show y'all what I got for Christmas. Uh, 2020 Honda Core LX. So I got the car shortly before Christmas Day. Maybe like a couple of days before Christmas Day. Um, it's been a great car thus far. And yeah, let's just get right into it and show you some of the features. So this is my 2020 Accord. 2020 Accord. Had five miles when I got it. And um, it has been great on gas. It's a 1.5 turbo, 192 horses. I'm not sure of the torque numbers, but it is a 2020 Accord LX. And um, you pretty much get a lot of bang for your buck for this car. Um, so it comes with the Honda um, Lane Keep Assist, um, the Honda Sensing Package, which includes, you know, the camera and the windshield. And then you got the sensor at the bottom. It says Honda Sensing. You get the LED lights up front as well as the LED lights in the back. 17 inch wheels. Mud flaps. The windows came already tinted on the car. Um, yeah, I mean, it's the color, is, I think it's considered to be Champagne Frost, is what they call it. Um, don't want to really show my tag, so that's why I can't really go around around the car. But um, it's considered to be champagne frost color, and yeah, it has been a gorgeous car. You do not get the dual exhaust. I mean, well, you get the dual exhaust. I'm sorry, but you do not get the pipes, uh, the actual outlets. There's like a um, filler thing here instead in the replace but it's okay you still get the dual exhaust underneath there so it's still good you get the led lights um as i stated the windows is already tinted from the get-go and um the back seat oh my god the back seat can I open the back seat show y'all i am six nine so i am six nine i just want y'all to know that well i'm six eight but with shoes i'm six nine so that's why my page is called six eight so the front seat room let's just show you oh it's cold out here so as you can see there's plenty of front seat leg room like i'm not my knees are not touching the dash and i'm six eight without shoes um the console, you get the gear shifter. I know in the 2.0 turbo, it has the push start um, button thingamajig in the middle. Um, and it has the brake hole, the electronic brake, and the economy. So the economy basically, you know, it runs the RPM, if I'm not mistaken, to like a higher RPM or, you know, to save on gas. It's, it's supposed to help, you know, save on fuel but i don't really put it in there i kind of take it out of there because i kind of got a heavy foot but the electronic parking brake is really great because my house is on a hill so if you want to engage the electronic parking brake all you have to do is put your foot on the brake and push it up to engage and you will hear a noise in the back like an electronic noise and you will hear the car just kind of like buckle down on the in the back you know, just kind of like you feel the pressure, just kind of like weigh the car down when you engage it. Now to disengage it, all you have to do is put your foot on the brake and just, and when you do that, it releases the brake. Um, now the brake hold feature, when I first got the car, it was a little awkward. You must have the seat belt on to engage the brake hold feature. Uh, so and to engage the brake hold feature, you are going to um, have, make sure you have your seatbelt buckled. And when you press it, it's going to show brake hold system standby. So what I'm going to do is put the car in drive. And I'm just going to inch up a little forward. Matter of fact, it's already holding as you saw that. But I'm just going to inch up a little forward and just stop the car. 
see it says hold and the other icon says brake hold so when you come to a stop at a red light you're in stop and go traffic it automatically puts the hold on the car which means that i don't know if you guys can see but i don't have to hold you can't really see that but you see my foot i'm not even like i'm not even holding the i'm not doing anything the car is holding itself while it's in drive so i'm just gonna put it back in park and when you put it back in park it um it ends up taking it off now also i don't know if you notice but when you put the car in drive and you engage the brake hole okay so when you press the brake hole you're going to disengage it by turning the system off but if you leave the brake hole system engaged and just say for instance if you unbuckle your seat belt i believe so if you unbuckle your seat belt what's going to happen is the car, even with the car in drive, as you saw that, this brake light comes on. So your your electronic parking brake, the, this button right here, your electronic parking brake engages automatically and the brake hole disengages because the brake hole is only meant for when you're actually in drive with your seatbelt buckle for safety reasons. So I guess the reason why they do that is because technically since the car is holding itself, they want to make sure that, you know, that's your intention, that you still mean for the car to stay in one place, meaning that if you get out the car, the car won't just roll forward. So that's a good safety feature to put in place because I was wondering about, like, you know, what happens if you unbuckle your seatbelt, if you open the door, even if you open the car door, it still engages by itself and you don't have to worry about like the car moving forward. Just say if something happens where you have to open the door all of a sudden, the brake, the electronic parking brake, your actual parking brake will engage by itself and this will disengage. So that's a good feature. Um, so on the LX, the difference between the Sport and the LX, um, cause the Sport model is the model I originally looked at. However, I am a college student. I am getting my feet back on the ground. So the LX was the model that was best for me here at the time because, you know, it's going to help me, you know, establish that line of credit to where I can get to the point to where I can, you know, move up, move up if I decide to. However, I might just add the sport, the sport rims that comes on the sport on and just call it a day because, you know, I'm not really like that kind of person that, it's an absolute must. So, you know, we'll see. Time will tell. Once I see what the 2021 looks like, I'll decide. Um, but with the LX in the sport, so if you go over here and you press your home key, you will see that you have a list of menus. And in these list of menus, you got the tachometer, the range and fuel, speed and time, traffic sign, driving support, driving attention, maintenance, safety support, and warnings. So the only thing that the LX model, that the, that the LX model does not have that the Sport does have is that it has an option to put your phone um, information that you would see over here. So if I press the phone, like all of my phone, my contact history, all of that, it will put all of this information over here. And also if you have a song plan, it will put that information over here as well. So in addition to all of these other options, you know, you will have those two options. I know I saw that difference in the sport. Also, you have a sport mode that tightens the suspension and, and it makes these, well, I don't think it'll do it, let me see. Yeah, it's not gonna do it, but typically this will be green when you're in drive, like if you're actually moving like at high speed and it'll turn red if you're in sport mode and it'll say a thing that says sport mode down there and show a little car icon. So, uh, I know the sport has a sport mode. Let's see what else. Oh, it also has Apple CarPlay. So the LX does not come with Apple CarPlay and it also comes with these buttons instead of the touch screen. So like this is not touch screen, but on the sport model it's touch screen, but on the LX you have to use the buttons to toggle through when you're like, you know, selecting different, you know, modes or whatever. But 
all in all, it's still a great option because you still get the option for Pandora. You can always, as I, as you see, I'm mounting my phone using my wireless charger up here, which is really great. Um, you know, so I use my navigation on my phone. So, I mean, you know, like I said, really, it's just a matter of preference. You still get the dual climate control in the LX. So that's, that's a feature that you're not missing. Um, you know, you can change it. As you can see, turn the lights off. Uh, let me disengage this real quick. Okay, so as you can see, if I turn this to the left, it gets blue, representing cold air. If I turn it to the right, it gets red, and it does it on both sides. You also get dual zone climate control, as well as you can, you know, sync them together. So that's something that you get on the LX as well as that you would get on the Sport, and it crosses over to the other models as well. So I mean, that's still a great bang for your buck when you think of, when you think about it. Also, there's an option to turn a night light on to keep it on full time. You can have the option to turn it off. All that does is kind of give you a little light when you're driving to be able to see, you know, like what's going on down here when you're in driving mode. So that's the neat feature I've seen on the other cores that I've owned. They've always had some kind of light right here. Now they give you an option to turn it on and off. Um, I do know that the map lights, the only, the only gripe that I have is that these lights do not come on when you turn the car off. These are actually just map lights that, that normally would stay off. However, I have found out that you can leave these on and this light comes on in the top as well. And when you turn the car off, you can basically have the same setup to where you can have the light to shine right here and you can have the light to shine, excuse me, in the back of the car. So that's a good option as well to have, you know, if you want to do it like that. But I just leave the lights off and just always let the dome light be the main light um now with the auto features you do get the auto windows the front windows are auto i'm not sure if on the sport if it's auto in the back but that is a good feature on the lx you get the auto both sides which is a great value for your buck and um as i mentioned before you have these different menus so let's just take a look at some of these. So you got range and fuel, which is the one that I stand most of the time because I want to see, you know, what my miles per gallon is, how many, you know, range, like as far as the miles that I'm getting as far as so I have to fill up. When it gets down, like if I fill my car right now from where it is, it's probably going to only cost me $16. And I live in the state of Georgia. So that's really great. Like that is super great. I used to drive an Acura TL 2005 and I paid $45 for that fill up even when I was like, I think down at a fourth of a tank. So it's really great on gas. Um, you also have speed and time, which shows you like your lap speed, your average speed that you're making. You got the option for a traffic sign. So when you're driving at night, you also have the option to where whatever sign that is on the road, the camera in the top scans it and it will put the actual speed limit sign on the dash for you so that you can see what you're doing. And um, I'll demonstrate that as well here in a few. And you see here, you have driving support, which shows if there's a car in front of you, it's gonna show how many yards it is until you get up close on that car. I think once you get up close on it, it's gonna like display some kind of message about you know the brake because you're gonna hit it. Um, so that's pretty neat. You have driver attention. If you're falling asleep at the wheel, it shows you, you know, your level of attention. It monitors based on how often you hit the lines on the road. Uh, let's see, maintenance. As you can see, pretty self-explanatory, 90% oil life um, here that I have left on it. And I'm at almost a thousand miles. I'm at 643 miles so far. Uh, you have safety and support. These are basically all of your systems, such as for the LX, you get the lane keep assist and crash mitigation system. Um, with the lane keep assist, that's basically just keeping your car in the lane. You know, if you go out the lane, it will, you know, bring it back over. With the crash mitigation, you basically just have, if you, you know, if it feels that you're not gonna stop in time, it's gonna flash a big sign that says brake. Or if you're like too close on the interstate to a truck and you're changing lanes, it's gonna scream out at you pretty much and beep, 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 brake. So that's pretty neat. Um, it also has the auto high beam feature. So the auto high beam feature, as you can see, that little icon, that's the auto high beam feature. 
basically you know if you're on a dark road at night and there's no cars coming onward towards you it will actually make the lights go brighter so it would like what i just did just now it will actually automatic um turn the high beam on automatic you know for you instead of instead of you having to turn it on manually so i normally just leave my lights in auto mode and let you know let that you know do its own thing so um the next thing i'm going to show you i think that is this oh you also do get the push start so you get the push start button on the lx and the sport and they're all like this as well so they they don't consider this to be a um i think what they call it a proximity like you know you can walk up and touch the door system basically all this says is that when you're outside of the car you have to use this um to unlock the car you cannot touch the door on the sport model 1.5 nor on the LX. The 2.0 Sport, I believe you can, but on this 1.5, you only get the um, the 1.5 LX and the 1.5 Sport, you only get the option to just have this remote. So you don't have the thing where you can like push the trunk underneath the trunk license plate and open it. Open it, you don't have the option. You have to use this or either use the button to open the trunk inside. But you do get push start, which I, you know, was like, that's all that mattered to me was that I had push start. So as long as I had push start, I was good. So this is all you need right here for that. All right, so let me show you the traffic sign real quick. All right, so as you can see, I'm actually at a stoplight um, and I have my brake hole engaged. So now I'm just not doing anything. The light has turned green. Brake hole has disengaged. So I can just now hit the gas pedal and move forward. And as you can see, there's a sign. I don't know if you can see that. There's a sign right here. There's a sign right there that shows you your speed. I don't know if it's showing really good because of these gauges, but there's a sign that's showing your speed. You also have the option to move that sign over on the other side as I just did. Um, and then you can put something else, you know, like your tachometer or your speed, you know, range of fuel. So you don't have to, you know, use that option. You can just put that sign in the middle. So every time you pass a sign, as I'm doing now, it's gonna scan that sign and it's gonna tell you what speed you're doing. I don't know if it's showing really good because these gauges are like throwing the thing off or whatever. But um, that's pretty much, you know, my 2020 Accord LX. Um, also, another feature that the Accord LX does not have is the fog lights. Um, but it has it on the sport. But as you can see, these lights are so bright. You mean like you can see, I can see everything. When I tell you I can see everything at night, I have no trouble with seeing it. My eyesight is terrible. So like, it's just really awesome. And even when you put your signal on, look how bright the signal is. Like, look at that. You can see how bright the LED signal is Just, even on the interstate like you can see your own reflection on the signs as you're putting on signals it's just the I mean the signals are just super bright so I mean anybody that's coming towards you they can see you turning from a mile away the car is just awesome um, if you have any other questions feel free to I um, leave a comment uh, be sure to like share subscribe this video um, I'm new to this whole thing when it comes to, you know, doing reviews on different things that, you know, I may own or like. So just stay tuned for my channel. Peace out, Mr. Six Feet Eight.